Hello, welcome back to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. I'm Jim Ward, a PDM technical support specialist. In today's video, I will be demonstrating how to create a task to generate PDF files automatically in SOLIDWORKS PDM standard. Before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. In PDM standard, there is only one task, and that is to generate PDF files. A task can be set to run automatically as a file makes its way through the workflow. In order to run a task on a computer, it must be chosen to be a task host. I will demonstrate later how to do that. In PDM standard, a task runs on the computer from which the file was released. That is the only way to be able to, to run the task. PDF can only be saved internal to the vault, and only PDF files can be generated. In contrast, in PDM Professional, a task can be set to run on a single computer, regardless of where it was started. There are two different save to paths in PDM Professional, or you can create two different save to paths. The save to paths can be outside of the vault, either one or both, and other file types can be generated other than PDF files. All right, now we're working with PDM standard today, so let me show you how to create a task and have it run. Here we are in the PDM administration tool. The first step is to import the add-in. To do that, you will right-click your vault and choose import. And then the place to go is your PDM installation location. In my case, it's on my C drive, program files, SOLIDWORKS CORP, SOLIDWORKS PDM, fault data. And then scroll down to the bottom and you'll see there's a convert underscore GB dot CEX. You'll select that and choose open. It has indeed uh, completed the import. I'll tell it OK. And now you see on add-ins, you now have the SW task add-in. Now that we have imported the add-in, we can go down here to task and expand task, and we see that it now has the convert task is automatically added. This convert task, just double click it and change the name here. I prefer something a bit more descriptive. So I'll say create PDF. It starts off with the add-in. So that's the SOLIDWORKS add-in. You can decide what user to run this under. If you do choose a user, you do have to put in their password. You do have the option though, to execute as the logged in user. And that's the way we will leave it at this time. You can change the number of retries on failure and the minutes to wait before failing. You can choose both of those. In my case, I'll just leave those as zero. Now execution method determines on which computer the task will be run. We will revisit this in a few minutes. Click on Conversion Settings, and this is where you can specify it's an Adobe PDF. Actually, in PDM Standard, that's the only option that you have, so that is grayed out. Source File References, you have the choice to use the referenced version of the referenced files, also known as As Built. Now, do be careful with that one because the reference version updates when an assembly or a drawing is checked in. If you have made changes to a subcomponent and you haven't checked in the assembly that references it, then these reference versions get out of date very quickly. The preferred method is to use the latest version of the referenced files. So that is what I have chosen here. File card allows you to copy the value of variables from the parent file to the source file. So in my case, we will add the revision variable copied. The destination variable would also be revision. And then I will add another one, the description. You may have others that you want to add for your company. And then this way, the PDF will get the, these same values in its data card. Output file details. This is where you determine where you want the file to be stored. Source folder path, source file name, and source file extension. In my case, I don't really care for the source file extension. The configuration name, I don't really care for that one either. But what I will do, let's see, I don't want to save it in the source folder path. I have a specific location. And so 
what I will do is to say I'll choose a vault root folder and then backslash and then the name of the folder is PDF and then the part and if you like you can uh, also include the revision. I pre do prefer using the revision variable. If you choose the, the source file revision, see a revision is stamped on a particular version. If for some reason the version gets moved then it, the file no longer has a revision. So you do have to be careful with that. It works a little bit better if you come down to variables and choose the variable revision if you want that in the file name. We are also always creating a new version of existing files and we are creating a reference from the destination file to the source file. If there's a problem, there is a log file that's created and it's created at the root level of the vault and it's called logs convert. You can look in there for any errors. If you want, you can specify a notification on success and who it goes to, or you can also specify an error notification. So that's it on creating the task. I'll just tell it okay. Something I skipped over in the task was the execution method. The reason is because you have to go to a computer and go to its task configuration. So let's do that here and show you what I'm talking about. So you go to the lower right hand corner of the computer screen and you'll see uh, you do have to be logged into PDM and then you'll see your SOLIDWORKS PDM here and you'll see task host configuration. So you click on that and then you have to select to permit and then that allows this particular computer to execute tasks that use this add-in. So now I'll say OK. And now, now that I've done that, I can go to execution method and you'll now see that my computer is listed here. So this is a two-step process. First, the person has to accept the task on a system, and then you come here and you check the box to say that it's okay to run the task on that system. And then you can say, okay. Now, in order for the person to be able to come down here and choose task host configuration, you do have to give them that permission. And you can do that at the group level or at the user level. So now I've gone into users and group management. This is 2022. So there's groups. And then I can, you can go to any of these groups that you want to give them that permission. In my case, I'll go to engineers. And then this is an administrative permission. And here it is up top, the very first one. Can I accept tasks to execute on a host? We click that and now each of them can accept the task to run. And you'll say OK, and that gives them that permission. The next step is to add that task to a workflow transition. PDM standard, you're allowed one workflow. So here's the workflow. I will double click that. I have a very simple workflow, just work in process. Then I send it to released. Create the PDF when a file is moving to the released state. So you go to the transition that moves it to the released state. You select that and then choose actions. In actions, you click on add action and do script create PDF. That would be the description. The type would be to execute task. Again, in PDM standard, you only run a single task and that's to create PDF. So that's selected automatically and it is only running for drawing files. So I'll tell this OK. And then you see down here, here's the task, create PDF. You do want this to run after you've already incremented the revision and you tell this OK, and then you do have to save your workflow. So I select the Save Diskette here in the top left. And that's it. At this point, it, as a file goes through this workflow, it will automatically generate a PDF when you move it to the released state. The next step would be to show you how that works. Here we are in the local vault view. What we will do now is we will release this drawing We will release the part along with it. I'll say change state. Now what happens in the top left here is you'll see a small SOLIDWORKS window pop up. Now it'll bring up a big SOLIDWORKS window and it will open up the drawing. Now we'll generate the PDF and close SOLIDWORKS. So now we go look in the PDF folder and we see that here is the grill basin drawing at revision C, which is what we just created.
That concludes the video on SOLIDWORKS PDM standard Create Task to Generate PDF Files Automatically. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have a topic you'd like us to cover in a future video. Visit our website, GoEngineer.com, for access to professional training, upcoming events, and more from your number one online technical resource. This has been Jim Ward from GoEngineer. Have a great day.